Have you noticed that uh, when you play alternate pegging and if you, you know, put in that extra uh, Cobra Turbo uh, tempo, then you have a tendency to, to uh, use extra muscle here? I'm sure you have if you play alternate, uh, fast alternate picking. Um, but have you also noticed that when you do so, some percentage of the, no the notes that you play become what is in, uh, popularly uh, called uh, by the Miola maybe, uh, pop outs um, or notes that kind of you don't, um, the pick doesn't really uh, slide over the string in the way that you want when you play alternate picking. So it's like it's uh, either the note dies or the pick doesn't really um, uh, go over the string in order to play the note. Um, that happens when you are using force. So what I try to uh, do a little introduction, uh, doing the little introduction here is I play um, 20 to 30 percent under my uh, under my top speed, uh, or maybe even more than that. Because when I do that, it's still fast. It's still fast enough anyway, and uh, so, or it sounds fast, and um, but and it sounds so much better. I mean, I don't get the pop-outs, I uh, can relax in the arm, I can play for much longer, I, it, my stamina will work, work so much better. Um, it's just becomes so much more a joy to play uh, fast alternate picking. And um, I think we could all agree that it sounds fast enough, you know, it's, it's, it's not ridiculously fast, but instead of that, you'll get, um, you'll get a much higher quality of the sound instead of really really ridiculously fast but it doesn't sound that good you know and I've, i'm sure you you've heard it before um you know really fast uh, alternate picking runs and they don't, just don't sound right they're kind of off or something like that but instead of that you don't need to play uh, tempo 360 notes or something like that um, because i don't think you hear that much of a difference in in how fast it sounds because at tempo 200 or 180 60s note it still sounds really really fast so if you can do that and you can relax then do that instead and get a much better sound and you can play longer phrases or you can play if you need to play a whole set uh, of 10 or 15 songs and there's fast also in the picking in, in all the solos in your band or whatever you are actually able to play the last song without without sucking, you know. Uh, so it's not only the first solo that you can play really fast, and then the rest you just killed yourself because you are all tense in the arm because you want to play as fast as possible. Um, so try to just lower it where you can be completely relaxed in the arm while you play alternate picking, and it it's it's really just a matter of trying to play a tremolo note. That's really that's pretty fast, and um, I don't I don't tense up. And in, listen, if I try to play uh, even faster, or I press the turbo, the Cobra turbo uh, button, <laughs> it's a little faster, but it's it starts to suck. You know, it starts to become uneven, and 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 some of the notes are become what I call pop outs. Of course, it's also a matter of how warm you are now. I just picked up the guitar and of course, if I practice alternate picking, uh, and taking it really slow for an hour, an hour, I will still get the tempo up and I would uh, and I would be able to play f a little faster, but um, uh, and, and then still be relaxed. Uh, so it's also, of course, a matter of how you much you warm up. Um, if you just grab the guitar, you want to rip, you know, go really crazy and just force yourself to play really fast. Obviously, it won't be that fast and it will not sound very good. So, so what I'm saying with this is no matter where you are, uh, if you just pick up the guitar in the morning, you can still play fast, but just always stay 20%, 30% under your top speed. And no matter what time of the day you play, how warm you are, you'll be able to play really, really fast. And, and also sounding good. So whether you uh, just picked up the guitar or you've been practicing for hours, um, 
stay with o um, and stay on those 20 30 percent under your top speed and then be getting a better sound and be more relaxed in the arm being a, and having a longer a longer stamina being able to play for longer periods of time so i'm just invited i'll sending you a new video really soon hey there now you can also download my the backing tracks that i use for some of the videos yet that i um that i've created I know that uh, some of the Jason Becker stuff uh, is relatively popular and uh, you can simply download the files by uh, finding the videos, <laughs> obviously, uh, like some of the Jason Becker stuff and uh, then under the videos there are links to be able to get all this free stuff and also other uh, free videos um, presents free material that you can download from that same page.